gassers. I had a customer ask me a very relevant question that I never thought to do. He said, Steve, make me a video that shows the do's, don'ts, and what to expect when you get a new gasifier. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to go over a little bit of fuel prep, and then we're going to do the inevitable raw wood start on this. So this will not have a char bed. There's no preloaded charcoal. I've had problems with preloaded charcoal. I find it best to just start it up, let it smoke in you know 30 minutes, shut it down, and then she'll run perfectly. Uh, sometimes when I put in charcoal, if the charcoal is down in the reduction zone and it's too big, then it doesn't pass the fuel properly, and it just creates too many hassles. So I advocate just throw some wood in it, crank it up, let it smoke, you'll be able to light the tar gases and burn them off, and it's all good. So first of all, let me show you what I do for fuel prep. The important thing is screen your fuel. Get the small stuff out. Okay, that's the biggest mistake I've made in this whole odyssey of learning gasification. This is half inch screen right here in front of me. So let me bring you closer. I'll take you guys off the tripod. Okay, unplug the camera. And here we go. So going over to the fuel, this will give you an idea of the size fuel that I run. These are just random wood chips made with a tractor PTO chipper. In the back I put a 12 ounce can of coke as a size reference, so you guys will know. You know, I, I don't get real crazy, I take out the twigs so there's no long stuff in there that's going to hang up on the nozzles. And I'll put the can of coke aside. And all I do is I, I grab my raw chips, put them on the screen, and I just kind of agitate them from one bucket to the next. And that's it. That's all you got to do. And you can probably see a few fell out. These are all pre-screened, so there's, there's not a lot of fines to fall out. But that's it. That's all you need to do. Just bounce it on half-inch hardware cloth. The fines will fall out. Throw the fines away. You could use them as filter media if you want. That's not really my thing, but you could. So, that's fuel prep. Now, let's start this thing up, and I'll show you a raw wood start. And show you what to expect, at least from the NSR gas station. Actually, the gas station light. Okay. I can't speak to someone else's machine. Uh, my stuff is all small fuel. So, you know, a chunk machine might give off different amounts of smoke. But let's crank this thing up and I'll tell you more once she's starting to warm up. I do have power and compressed air going to it. I would not recommend trying to do a battery start without a uh, charcoal bed. And the inductor's on. Oh, 
My measure of good gas is just how clear it is. That is engine grade. When it jumps down inside the injector, that's what I consider high quality. At this point, this is where I would probably start my engine. You want something that looks like, you know, kind of tired engine blue uh, gas. This is not bad. This is not gas that's been through the final filter. So the final filter will clean up a bunch of that. And you certainly have enough gas to run, you know, a 4 or 5K generator. Let me see if I can get a stable flare. And that's it guys. Now you're ready to run your engine. So I hope this has helped. Um, if I were running pellets, I would expect you know, more tarry gas longer, but where I have the hopper full of chips, it comes around quite quickly. So I will talk to you soon. I hope this has been helpful for you new guys. And uh, see you soon. Thanks.